Hello, Virgo besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to hop on here and do a reading for all the zodiac signs for the month of April. So if you are seeing this before or during, the messages are for you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. You will already know what it is. But we'll go ahead and get started here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do all the youtube -y things. I would truly appreciate it. We're on the road to 10K. Couldn't do it without you. And if you want a more in-depth reading, check out your moon, rising, or Venus sign. But let's go ahead and get started, Virgo. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned what do my lovely virgos need to know for the month of april oh bestie bestie okay i think there's a situation where there was a love offer that came in hot you thought maybe you wanted it you were following your heart, you know, it could have been a person that was younger than you, was really open to dating, giving you that affection. I think something went awry, but, you know, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. You were able to get out of it. You're, you're pulling yourself together. You're letting go. You're learning from the hardships. You know, your fears are not manifesting and coming true, and you're really pulling yourself together. This is allowing you a end of a karmic cycle. Tens are all about completion. And the Wheel of Fortune is like hitting the lottery. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. This was fated. This was meant to happen. You learned the lessons. You closed out those karmic cycles. Whether or not you closed out and healed generational curses, focused on you, healed your inner child. Now you're welcoming in a zaddy energy. It doesn't have to be a male but this is someone who resonates with the divine masculine energy, is stable, reliable, dependable, knows what they want, maybe has a good business, figured out what they really are focused on in life and what's important. At the bottom of the deck, I mean, we have the four of wands. This could be something you've been manifesting, wanting to bring forward and really wanting to appreciate. Maybe you have a happily ever after. Maybe you always picture yourself getting married. Something along those lines. But as you are welcoming in this new opportunity of love, you filled up your own cup. Now it's overflowing and you're ready to give back. You're focused on your happiness, your joy, your celebrations. And I think you might have a choice when it comes to putting all the time and energy and effort into your finances, your career, or if you are ready to take a step back and really bring in this happiness, this happily ever after, as I was saying, with the Ten of Cups, it's everything you imagined and more. The white picket fence, the house, the dogs, the kids, the cats, you're really embracing the opportunity of this long-term relationship because you've gone through the spiritual awakening. You realize you had to go ahead and let go and transform and release people that no longer serve you in order to come into, you know, this success, this victory that's coming in very quickly with the chariot out here. Sevens are all about divine timing, determination. You had that self-discipline and that control to once again confirmation to go heal your inner child. Six of cups in reverse. You're really focused on the future, releasing the past, growing up, figuring out are you going to repeat the cycles or are you going to break them? And I think you're ready to break them. We have the two of cups. So really, this is a partnership, compatibility, a relationship coming together, really realizing you have the world at your fingertips. Lucky number 21. You are no longer um, like giving up or, you know, you're letting go of regret, you know, missed decisions that you decided to make triggers, actions. You are now motivated and enthusiastic about your future and where this will take you with the world. The world is all about success and achievement, a sense of belonging, really appreciating that and feeling whole like you completed that cycle. And I'm so proud of you. 
Let's go ahead, Virgo, and jump to La Rasha's Goddess Queen Just Mean 23's deck. See what else you need to know. What do my Virgos need to know for April? Thank you. So someone's ready to come forward and express how they feel, which I think that could be your opportunity, your two of cups, your soulmate. You just have to be open and realize you are worthy of this love. You do deserve this love. It's all about affection, attraction, compassion with yourself and with others. There has been an opportunity that you're getting downloads and enlightenment for being connected to source, really gaining those insights, paying attention to the angel numbers, the music, you know, the signs around you, repetitive things, and realizing you have opportunities coming in. You are attractive to many people. They've been watching you. They could be spying on your social media, seeing what you're up to and with whom. This is definitely an entanglement, so there's multiple people that might be spying on you, wanting a slice of that pie. But it's going to be up to you to cut the people out of your life. Um, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that are immature, that are karmic family and friends that don't want the best intentions for you. Could be very greedy, codependent. We don't need that. We don't want that. We're moving forward. Bottom of the deck, yeah. We're over the karmics that want to only go ahead and fuck basically, and treat us like a booty call that we're not worthy of anything else. We're the phoenix rising. We know our worth. We put on that king, or we put on that king, we put on that crown, my king or queen, and you're ready to know your worth, and you're ready for a passionate connection. You're ready for more because you are ready to shine. You are the Rihanna, shine bright like a diamond, and really embrace this divine masculine energy that's coming forward that is healthy, that is not toxic. You are no longer doubting yourself, doubting this connection, doubting your worth. In April, I see you trusting your intuition, getting this guidance, and really leading with your feminine energy, leading with that heart space, and being open to the opportunities that present themselves. But let's go ahead and jump to the Rebel Oracle deck. Let's get some Savage Truths. What do you need to know for the month of April? What do my Virgos need to hear? Thank you. Yeah, you got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside you, listen to that shit. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut feelings. You know, but realize shame, regret, and guilt, those are all just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. Exactly. Really be focused on yourself and release those people time to let go move the fuck on it's a situation if they're toxic if they don't build you up if they don't push you to be the best version of yourself if you don't feel like you're elevating with them and enjoying your time with them then it's time to cut them loose and make better fucking choices be careful don't slip back into other bad habits patterns of behaviors because if you're pissed at where you're at then stop taking yourself there the definition of insanity coming even from a Taurus is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. They broke your heart. Fuck them. Move on and take care of yourself. Stop obsessing. You're not the center of the universe. So realize not every tweet or post or Instagram stories about you and just put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. So really put yourself out there. Enjoy the moment. Have those experiences. Be present. Do things that make you happy. And if you need a therapist, bestie, ask an expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Exactly. Know your worth and be able to put up some boundaries. Boundaries are healthy. No is a love word. And put yourself out there. You never know if you don't try. Let's go ahead and jump to the Angel Answers Oracle. Think about a specific person, place, or thing, Virgo, that you want more in-depth answers on. And I will get you some yes, no, time frame, and other guiding answers. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine, because we are energetically aligned. What do my Virgos need to know about their specific situation? Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay. 
Yeah, definitely now's not the right time for the situation. You're going to gain some mental clarity and reconsider your approach. The universe is teaching you some patience out here. I know it sucks. Once again, being a Taurus, I'm stubborn. I want it. But they're telling you, you need to improve your health. You need to take care of yourself. Align your chakras first. Fill up your own cup first. Take care of yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. Allow people to help you as well. To come in and appreciate you and take care of you and push yourself forward. You need to walk the walk and talk the talk though. If you say you're moving on, if you say you're releasing your ex, if you say you're doing that opportunity, do it. Balls to the walls, no holding back because the answer is yes. And by the end of 2023, this is going to come full circle into fruition. I love you so much, Virgo. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know if this resonated in the comments below. If you made it this far, put a butterfly in the comments. And I hope you have a fantastic April. It's soon to be Taurus season. We're going to be in another Earth season. So you will thrive. Bye, bestie.